Hi everyone, we continue discussing Calibri Nest functionality. In today's video I'm going to show you simplification, remeshing and texture map editing. Let's open a scan of a gnome statue and use it as an example. Here you can select a textured and non-textured 3D scan. Reveal the mesh which is simplified on this scan. This mesh has been simplified to speed up the texturing process. I also can do remeshing, set an exact size of the polygons, for example 1mm, and choose which scan I'd like to work with and click apply. Remeshing process has started and now you can see that the mesh has reorganized. The polygons are now fine looking and of similar size and shape. This type of mesh is useful for designers because it's nicely organized, neat and easy to work with. The non-textured model has not been affected by the changes. Another thing we can do is mesh simplification. If you hover over any model, you can see the number of polygons it consists of. In this case, that number is 320,000 polygons. You can also simplify the mesh by an absolute number if you know the exact number of needed polygons. That comes handy for engineers who use CAD software, and not all of them can open 3D models consisting of high number of polygons. If you know exactly how many polygons your final model should consist of, it's better to use this function. Conversely, you can reduce the number of polygons by some percentage. You set what percentage of original polygons you want the model to be reduced to, click apply and bam! Now you can see that the mesh has reorganized and become simplified. There is another model which is textured and I can edit it in the built-in texture editor. Here you can fine-tune brightness and contrast. Red, green and blue channels can be fine-tuned as well. Thusly, uh, you can edit the texture of a model after it's finalized. After you're done with editing, the mesh has reached the form you want it, you can save a textured model. Here you can see that the model is made up of not 300,000 polygons, but only of 192,000 polygons. You can save the model either non-textured, in STL or WRL formats, or textured in OBJ or PLY formats. In this case, not only a model is saved, but a texture map as well. Here we got a saved 3D model. Here you can not only see the OBJ file, but also the PNG file with a texture map, which can be edited in Photoshop for more precise fine-tuning. The texture map is an assembly of pixels which are based off of the photos the texture camera of the Calibri takes. The PNG file consists of those pixels, and the MTL file has the instructions for each pixel on how to unwrap on the 3D model. Most importantly is to save a PNG file to the same folder with an OBJ file and an MTL file. That's all about what comes down to simplifying, remeshing and saving a mesh. Hope you liked the video, stay with us for some more manuals on this channel and goodbye!